Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn the basics of ultrasonography. So let's start. We know that the bat uses the ultrasound for the navigation for moving uh, during flying. So ultrasound basic definition it is the acoustic sound energy in the form of waves having a frequency above the human hearing range that is 20,000 hertz. Ultrasound is a uh, way of using sound waves to look inside the human body. So here the acoustic sound that use human being and this is the infrasound that cannot be heard and this is the ultrasound. This is the more than 20,000 hertz that is called ultrasound wave that is started from the 2 megahertz to 200 megahertz. This is the ultrasound money that is the beyond the uh, hearing range of human being. So that's why this is called ultrasound. So uh, first uh, when first invented ultrasonography that is called pen scanner. Uh, a patient around a probe, a transducer rotated in a semicircular arc around the patient. This was invented in 1957. It is the early form of ultrasonography. Here the scan converter allowed to first time to use the upcoming computer technology to improve the ultrasonography here the machine. This is the ultrasonography machine parts. Uh, first there is a display and there is a disk storage for image storage and there is a central processing unit, keyboard cursor just like computer and added a printer for uh, printing the images and there is a transducer or probe uh, that is used uh, to pass the ultrasound rays and transducer pulse control there is a frequency duration and different scan modes here. So basic parts of ultrasonography machine is transducer probe, uh, probe that sends and receives the sound waves and central processing unit computer that does all of this calculation and contains the electrical power supply for itself and the transducer probe and transducer pulse control changes the amplitude, frequency and duration of the pulses emitted from the transducer probe. And there is also a display for image from the ultrasonor data processed by CPU. There is a keyboard or cursor uh, input the data and takes the measurement uh, from the display. And there is a disk storage that may be hard disk, floppy disk or CD stores the acquired image and there is a printer that prints the image that displayed. So ultrasonography or diagnostic ultrasonography is an ultrasound based diagnostic imaging technique used for visualizing the internal body structures. So main modes of ultrasonography in grayscale image A mode, B mode and M mode and there are some Doppler imaging we will learn details later. So A mode it is the most simplest mode of ultrasound based on the pulse echo principle. Here showing a A mode ultrasonography. A mode ultrasonography used to measure just only distance. So A mode only one dimensional information. So it is not used for imaging. And usually it is used in eco encephalography and eco ophthalmoscopy. Sometimes we use it uh, in ophthalmology for A mode ultrasonography. B mode B stands brightness. So it is the most commonly used sonography method and B scan gives the two dimensional image and information about the cross section and it is also generally used to measure the cardiac chamber dimension, assess the valvular structure and the information of other functions. Here the development of the B mode ultrasonography image quality and this the image quality in 1970, this is 1980, this is 1990. 1995 that is 3D ultrasonography for fetal profile and this is the 4D ultrasonography in 2002. So and last mode is grayscale M mode. M means motion. It represents the movement of structure over time. M mode is commonly used for measuring the chamber dimension uh, of heart and it is also analogs to the recording of the video in ultrasonography. Here showing 
Doppler imaging. This is interesting. Uh, this is the general term used to visualize the velocities of moving structure such as blood. Doppler ultrasonography evaluates the blood velocity as it flows through the blood vessel. Blood flow through the heart and large vessel has certain characteristics that can be measured during the Doppler instrument. Here are two types of flow is seen in uh, Doppler study. One is laminar flow that is a straight flow and another is turbulent flow. Uh, in case of layer flow, normal flow is laminar flow and if there is any obstruction then we get the turbulence flow in Doppler study. So uh, in Doppler ultrasonography there are some modes. Now we will learn the modes of Doppler ultrasonography. One is continuous wave Doppler mode but CW mode uses the different crystal to send and receive the signal and one crystal constantly send a sound wave of a single frequency. The other uh, constantly receive the reflected signal. And another uh, mode of Doppler is the pulsed wave mode. Here, the produces short burst and pulse of sound uses the same crystals to send and receive the signal. This follows the same pulse echo technique used in 2D image formation. Third one is color Doppler. It is most commonly used now uh, Doppler sonography. Utilize the pulse echo Doppler uh, flow principle to generate the colored image. Here showing the colored image. Image superimposed on the 2D image. The red and blue display provides the information regarding the direction and velocity of the flow. It is very important. So uh, color Doppler shows the direction of velocity of the blood flow. Used for general assessment of the flow of the region of interest. It also gives a descriptive and semi-quantitative information regarding blood flow. There another type of Doppler is called power Doppler. It is the five times more sensitive in detecting blood flow than the color Doppler. So it is the most latest Doppler study method. It can get those images that are impossible with color Doppler. And it is also evaluate the blood flow uh, through the vessel within the solid organs also. So in the solid uh, tumor that can be uh, in case of increased blood flow that can be identified this type of power Doppler. So uh, ultrasonography uses or application in our clinical practice most commonly used in the gynecology and obstetric department measuring the size of the fetus determine the sex of the fetus monitoring the baby for various procedure and in cardiology seeing the inside of the heart to identify any abnormal functions measuring the blood flow by color doppler in heart and measured blood vessels in urology measuring the blood flow uh, through the kidney locating the kidney stone detecting the prostate cancer it also locates the uh, kidney tumor also so overall benefits uh, it is the image the muscle soft tissue very well renders the live image where most desirable section is selected and shows the structure of the organ no long term side effect widely available and comparatively flexible highly portable relatively inexpensive than other imaging investigation spatial resolution is better is high frequency ultrasound scan and it's very very important so and there is no radiation hazard also it's important in ultrasonography there are few risk of ultrasonography that is the during the development of heart tissues or water absorb the ultrasound energy which increases the local temperature and it also formation of some bubbles or cavitation well that when dissolved gases come out of solution due to local heat caused by ultrasonography it's a very minor risk and there are some limitations of ultrasonography also sonographic device have the trouble the penetrating the bone sonography performs very poorly when there is a gas between the transducer and organ of interest and body habit habitus has large influence on the on immense quality and this ultrasonography method is operator dependent so uh, no scout uh, image as CT scanner MRI is available like 
सी टी स्कैन एम आर आई स्काउट फिल्म अवेलेबल बाट जिन अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी नो स्काउट और पायलट फिल्म इज अवेलेबल सो दिज आर द लिमिटेशन ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी नाउ वी उल सी साम अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी इमेज ऑफ डिफर कॉमन डिजीजेस दिस इज द प्रेगनेंसी प्रोफाइल हे आर शोइंग ए बेबी हे आर इट्स मेजर्स द लेंथ ऑफ द बेबी एंड अदर ऑल द प्रेगनेंसी प्रोफाइल पैरामीटर्स दैट कैन बी मेजर बाई अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी this is the sex determination uh, showing the male sex baby here it is important uh, can be uh, diagnosed by ultrasonography and this is the bladder stone it's it is the bladder and this is the bladder stone that easily can identified by ultrasonography bladder stone is moving so uh, when body parts is moved uh, bladder stone is also moved in the bladder this is the prostatic enlargement or benign prostatic hyperplasia that easily can be identified by ultrasonography here the uh, prostate is enlarged and it's protruded in the uh, uh, to the bladder it is called ipp by intervesical protrusion that easily can be identified by ultrasonography this is the bladder tumor it's a soft tissue mass arising from the lateral wall of the uh, urinary bladder easily identified by uh, ultrasonography that's the size of the tumor or location of the tumor number of the tumor that everything can be identified by ultrasonography this is the kidney tumor this is the normal kidney and it's a tumor or mass that arises from the kidney so here the solid mass uh, mass size uh, origin uh, number everything can be identified by ultrasonography easily दो कन्फर्मेटरि टेस्ट कैन भी डान बै सी टी स्कैन एंड बायोपी दिस इज द लिभार ट्यूमार देर आर माल्टिपोल कैनल बल एपेरेंस ट्यूमार इन द लिभार इट्स मोस्ट कमनलि फाउंड इन लिभार मेटास्टेसिस दिस इज इट्स अल्सो भेरि कमन डिजिज दैट कैन भी आईडेंटिफाइड बै अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी दैट इज द गल स्टोन दिस इज द गल ब्लाडर एंड दिस इज द स्टोन Uh, stone shows a posterior acoustic shadow this is very important in ultrasonography in hard structure during passing the ultrasound wave if there is hard structure uh, in uh, in the back side of this structure showing a posterior acoustic shadow it's important diagnostic tool for a stone disease thank you so much please subscribe this channel for more videos assalamu alaikum